taking new measures to convey the message throughout Britain to every honest thinking man. Now, when I say honest thinking man, everybody is honest in thinking, of course. <clears throat> but in religion, nobody who calls himself honest in thinking is generally interested. Their honesty tells them that church is fraud, or Islam is fraud, or Hinduism is fraud, because that is what they receive the message from their media. So this is the main problem for us in preaching Islam to the people of more developed countries. We have to find from among them who still have honesty of purpose and also are interested in finding out the truth. These are the people who can be made our target. And they can be found only through experience by sifting the material, by conveying the message to as many as possible, and from among them to judge who would be the right person. And our experience has told us that a very large number of English people want to know, but they're disinterested because of the prevalent atheism and anti-religious sentiments which continue, unfortunately, to spread all along. From them we can choose people who are once convinced they are talking sense. They are more likely to become Muslims than the Christian religious people from England. They are very little likely because in the brand of Christianity they believe they have to seg segregate them from rationality. Divorce religion from rationality. Only then they become stout Christians. And they will not be interested in us. Because we stand for rationality and religion together. Not as separate entities. That far is about Europe and Western countries. We are spreading much faster in Africa. Why? The reason is very different from that which uh, was responsible for the spread of Christianity in the same countries. Christianity spread in West Africa in a manner that they built schools and other institutions which will change their way of life, not spiritually but materially. That is whatever ha what happened everywhere in Africa. Schools and hospitals of Christians did not create better spiritual people, but they created a people who were closer to the Western style of living, with coats and ties and dances and drinking. So in reality, Christian Christianity gave them nothing. Only it was a political gain for colonizing countries. When I say that, I'm saying it without the least prejudice. This is exactly what happened, and you can examine it everywhere, even from among the West Indian people who have become Christian. They are causing the greatest problem of law and order here in this country. Because being Christians, the church is not interested in their day-to-day -day human behavior as Christian behavior. They're only interested in name and number. And then they are free to drink and dance and whatever they like and commit crimes. Where are the church fathers who are worried when they commit crimes in, in England, in, in those areas where they're concentrated? Government is interested, police is interested, but the church is not. So our method of spread of Islam is radically different. We go to the people, the villages, etc., who tell them this is truth. 
judge it with the wisdom which God has given you. And the proof of your acceptance of Islam would be to offer sacrifices in this cause. Will not give you anything in return. So it's a strange thing that wherever Islam is uh, spreading in Africa, even if they are very poor people, they're spreading from their own pockets. They're, they're spending from their own pockets for the cause of Islam, and they are organized. They give whatever money they can spare to the cause of Islam to Ahmadiyya secretaries of finance which are appointed for that purpose. Every village has an organization which is uh, honorary and uh, nobody is paying them any, anything for their work. They collect the money, they keep the accounts, and they go on spending the money on themselves according to our instructions. So that is why Islam is spreading meaningfully and with consistency in all these countries. Some people think that because they are ignorant people, so they are accepting Islam. This is absolutely wrong. They are not ignorant. They put up a lot of resistance in the beginning. Mullahs from Pakistan and other Muslim countries went with lots of money to influence them. They promised them to build mosques and hospitals and this and that, but they were not interested in that money. They were interested in humanity, in human values. And that they only received from us. So with the grace of Allah, the spread of Islam in African countries is so rapid that it has never happened in history before. Three million people, largely from Africa, converted to Ahmadiyya Muslim community within one year last year. And we hope to improve upon this number. And when I say that, that it never happened before, I include all the Christian efforts, global Christian efforts, with billions upon billions of dollars spent on preaching. Yet, by comparison, they the lag far behind Ahmadiyyat in gaining converts, while they never require any sacrifice from those who convert to Christianity, financial or otherwise. We require sacrifice, we require discipline, we require improvement in their morals, we require them to start saying five-time prayers and what not. So the difficult road is getting more and more of humans interested in studying that path. Thank you. Uh, Hazur, next question is from Dr. James Eddy. He is a senior lecturer of St. George's Hospital Medical School mm -hmm. in Tooting. <coughs> what do you teach or practice? I teach addictive behavior. Paper? Behavior, that is the uh -huh. That's right, I know. Thank you very much. Uh, Hazur, question is, how could we get a copy of President's speech as it very well summarizes the history and ideals of the Ahmadiyya movement? Which speech? He wants uh, President's speech he has written. He wants uh, uh, some sp speech which can summarize uh -huh. the Ahmadiyya. I mean, yes. <laughs> By the president, he means uh, the he president yours. of our sub-organization, Ansarullah of UK. I don't and know. And he me. happens to be the president of the. Is this speech you are referring to? It's the speech with the president here before you came. Yes. Yes, sir. Thank you. Is it published? Yes. Written? It's written. I can give it. speech. So you will, of course, you will be given a copy, as, as many as you like. <laughs> uh, Thank you. Hazur, the next question is from Mr. M. Ansari. He comes from Battersea. Mr. Ansari is... What was the belief of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and Sahaba, that's the companion of the Prophet Muhammad wasalam, regarding the death of Jesus? Please quote any hadith 
Thank you.